All right. So that brings us to the final slide of the presentation where I would like to summarize the salient points and the main uh, ADSO features. So ADSOs, they serve as a central persistence model for transaction data. It supports, it supports field-based modeling and or info-object based modeling. It supports high frequency data loads based on the new TSN request management. It can contain up to 120, uh, 120 key fields and total 745 total fields, which includes info objects as well as fields. They can only be created and modeled in Eclipse based BW for HANA modeling tools. They serve as persistency for open audience views. So in open audience views, if you want to persist the data, then it generates uh, an advanced DSO. They offer custom partition and indexes for performance critical accesses. So indexes and partitions are a feature still there for ADSOs. Semantic groups are provided for additional uh, model to model the logical partitioning. If you remember from the previous BW versions, we used to have something called SPO, semantically partitioned object. So that is now being replaced by semantic groups. And this is basically a group of similar ADSOs. They support non-cumulative key figures, meaning inventory and non-cumulative key figures are handled. And they also support planning. So ADSOs can easily support your planning requirements. And finally, they provide the right interfaces for the interfaces such as data services and cloud platform integration to directly load the data in the inbound table. So all in all, guys, ADSOs is the most important transaction persistence info provider in BW for HANA. Thank you so much for listening in. I really hope this helped you understand the nuts and bolts of advanced DSO in BW for HANA. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates on the videos I post. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.